gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel that channel is deb chanel's 48th world we have another must see video and it's about our polling questions we took for the week and the results are in you all spoke you all went over there y'all gave y'all opinions y'all comments and answered the polls and i am just here to give you all the results for the polling questionnaires that were done from november 3rd to november 9th of this year okay i asked you to speak your mind and we're gonna go on and get into those results all right majority of them were asked about um todd tucker i don't know most of you may know who he is some of you may not know who it is so basically let's just say he's candy burris husband the todd tucker uh on the real housewives of atlanta's franchise candy is one of the co-stars of that particular a reality show and Todd Tucker is her husband and for this past week he had been a part of social media he's been out there buying trucks he's been out there uh secretly allegedly maybe seeing someone behind Candy's back but the um paparazzi in Atlanta got a hold of him and they just usually use him as a test subject this week but let's get on into those polling questions we have Number one, Todd Tucker was caught this past weekend coming out of an Atlanta hotel in downtown Atlanta, but he wasn't with Candy, his wife. Do you think he was leaving the scene from spending the evening the day prior with another woman? 100% people were sure that yes, he was with another woman the night before. The next polling question was Todd Tucker is stating he's well, sorry, starting his own trucking business. Whose money do you think he is using to front the cost of this new business adventure? On a unanimous vote of 100% said his wife, Candy Burrs, is setting the tone and she's definitely footing the bill for all of his business adventures. We went to polling question number four. If you were, uh, if you watched Tonight's episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 12, Episode 1. What did you think about it? 100% of you all said it started off good, got boring in the middle, and ended up great. Okay? Number five was, do you think Todd Tucker got most of or all of his money to pay for the 18-wheeler truck he just received? 82% of you all said he got most of the money from Candy. 18% said... He got all the money from Candy. Okay? So, 82% won by saying most of the money came from his wife, Candy Burrs. Okay, the next polling question was, do you think Todd Tucker is running through all of Candy's money, investing in frivolous money-making schemes? Overwhelming part of you said, 65% said, yes, he is, while 22% said, they weren't sure. And the 13 remaining said, no, he isn't. The next question was, do you think Todd Tucker is going to put his family in the poorhouse with all of his investment dealings? 39% of you said, no, he's not. While 49% of you all said, yep, in due time, he will be there putting his family at risk. Okay. 12% of you all said, might be on his way. <laughs> Next polling question was, do you think Todd Tucker is becoming an opportunist? 68% of you all said, yes, he is, while 32% of you all said he's not. Do you think this trucking idea of Todd Tucker is a bad idea? 57% of you all said yes, while 43 of y'all said no. The next polling question was, do you think Dr. Heavenly, was married, who's on Married to Medicine, was wrong for setting quad up with the men she introduced her to an overwhelming response said yes 70 percent said they weren't quads type and dr heavenly knew it all right 30 percent said she wasn't wrong dr helen knew she had made good choices for uh quad for the selection she chose for her we went to the next polling question it said do you think kenya moore 
was wrong for bringing up mess to Portia that she had overheard Candy, Eva, and Cynthia talking amongst themselves. <coughs> Excuse me. The overwhelming part of you all said, 69%, said that was very messy of Kenya, while 31% of you said, no, Kenya wasn't in the wrong. The next polling question was, Mark Daly, Kenya's husband, is telling her, look, it's very simple. Be my wife or stay on your Real Housewives of Atlanta show. However, you can't have us both. Do you think Kenya Moore will leave the Real Housewives of Atlanta show again to save her marriage? Well, an overwhelming percent of you all said, hell no. 87% of you all said, hell no, she ain't going nowhere. While 13% of you all said, well, of course she is. All right. Uh, the next polling question was, do you think Kenya Moore could survive mentally and financial without being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta show sitcom? 55% uh, of you all said no, while 45% of you all said yes. That was kind of close. I was watching that particular poll. But y'all said no, she wouldn't make it. All right, we go on to number 14. It said, do you think Mark Daly is unfair and wrong for asking Kenya Moore to give up her co-starring role on the Real Housewives of Atlanta show? Uh, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly response was 63% said yes, 37% said no. Who do you think make the most money on the Real Housewives of Atlanta Bravo show? 55% of you all said Candy Burris, while 45% said NeNe Leakes, and 1% uh, said Kenya Moore. So I was like, oh, okay, all righty now. The people spoke on that one because a lot of people were thinking Kenya. But Kenya came out also um, this week and was on somebody's show, and she said Candy Burris makes them, excuse me, the most money out of all of them. The next polling question was, do you think T.I., the rapper, should be accompanying his daughter or daughters to gynecological appointments to check to see if they are still a virgin? Meaning T.I. made a pretty big, decent fool of himself this week uh, trying to check the hymen of his, um, I think it's his oldest daughter, I'm guessing, if he don't have nobody else out there other than uh, Deja and Eris, because we know he didn't, I don't think he adopted Zonique, but he parented her from when she was uh, two years old to up to where she's at now, but she has had her biological father in her life, but he's just been behind the scenes, okay? So T.I. ain't gonna up no other man over him, so it just is what it is. But anyway, getting back to the polling question, it was saying, do you think T.I. the rapper should be accompanying his um, daughters or daughter to gynecological appointments to check to see if they are still a virgin? 41% of you all said, hell no, nowhere is the, bi well, it was basically written out, hell no, where's the biological mama, Okay. And I was right there with that one. I didn't understand that situation. Still don't understand it. But not my household. They get down the way they get down. But I just feel that he has significant, significantly damaged that child in some way when it comes to her self-esteem. And people going to be talking underneath their breath. If not, come straight out and say, you know, what's going on with your dad? And why did he throw you under the bus like that? We don't need to know, you know, just a lot of banter that she didn't necessarily have to be going to school defending her dad when the situation shouldn't even have come up on a podcast show or whatnot. But I did hear the ladies that did interview him and he brought up that information. They have since deleted the whole thing because they didn't want no more parts of it because they were getting bashed for even entertaining the idea. It's almost like they should have put his mic on mute, cut him and say, nah, we got to go to something else. Let's ask you something else about the upcoming season of, you know, uh, Grand Hustle or Family Hustle. What, you know, what you're going to be doing over there? What can we expect to see with this upcoming season? You know, season, something like that. Just, just totally take the uh, road off of that, what we were driving down on this hymen and, and virginity thing being, you know, displayed and the poor girl, you know, it, it's going to be 
something that's out there going to be archived and she's just going to be having a hard time, I do believe, unless they give her some help. Because I don't understand, even if it was a PR stunt to uh, have us talking about him and getting us to probably watch the show, or maybe that's going to be something featured on the show, it was still just a piss poor idea. And I can't believe Tiny let him even go that far, you know, to do that. Because I'm sure it was a plan, uh thing he was supposed to say. It just didn't come out, uh, you know, out his mouth to say. And if it did, it should have been like, hurting him to even bring it out like got a major headache or a stomach ache so he went and have basically uh flashed out that information and passed out that information for us to consume because that was oh it just made me sick when i heard about it. and I, I got into different people's perspectives and their sides and stuff but i mean you should not bully your child or mentally bully your child to think that they have to give you the information whether they having sex or not. I don't want to know. Just as long as is you protecting yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't talk to you. I told you wait till marriage comes or whatnot. But you know, if you got to go out there and do what you got to do, make sure you protect yourselves from diseases. You know what I'm saying? And unwanted pregnancies because it's just too much out there for him to just broadcast it like that. And I'm like, ew, you know. And then the thought of he was up in the room with her while they were doing their testing. That was just, uh, no, no, no. And even just him being out there, if he was just out in the waiting room and they came in to discuss her res the results, she's 18 years old. I mean, and then for him saying, oh, you need to sign this paper because I need to know. And if what if she was, what if her hymen was broke due to sexual intercourse or maybe not sexual in intercourse? Maybe she was just over-exercising or whatnot. Or maybe she failed or, or whatnot because a hymen doesn't have to be uh, broken just by sexual contact. It's many ways, and they've told us through many ways it can happen. Uh, but, you know, what were you going to do, T.I.? You basically were going to say she, you put her out on the street or shame her, you know, about not being a virgin anymore. You're going to look at her totally different. I mean, it's just, I didn't like, I didn't like nothing of that. And I'm glad the women that did the podcast deleted it even though a lot of people caught caught it and, and recorded it or whatnot but i'm glad they did the honorable thing and apologized publicly like they put the information out there publicly and hopefully it will resolve itself and people just won't talk about it again but anyway going back to that question 41 percent of you all said hell no um when y'all were questioning where the biological mama was, and while 34% of you all said uh, no, and the 25% said yes, that was the remainder. So 41% was like very stern, very like this was a no-fly zone, you should never did, they were just very adamant. And then we had like a soft no that, you know, that's a mother's job. You shouldn't have been in there in the first place. This, that, and the third. And then 25% said, yes, he had uh, the right to be there to check on his daughter. And this, that, and the third. Okay. Moving on to the next polling question. It said, do you think Kenya Moore from the Real Housewives of Atlanta wants the pay that NeNe Leakes is getting paid to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta or more? Basically trying to come for NeNe Leakes check. Uh, 69% of you all said yes, while 31% 31, 31 of you all said no. The next polling question was, do you think Kenya Moore from the Real Housewives of Atlanta is jealous of Candy Burr's paycheck and all of her endorsement deals? 55% uh, of you all said no. 45% of you all said yes. Uh, I was watching that polling question, too, because I, I really thought uh, y'all, meaning the Toro, Teen Toros, uh, would have been all up on it, the situation saying, no, nah, she ain't trying to be, uh, you know, above Candy or want Candy's, uh, or jealous of Candy's, um, uh, situation as far as her money making ideas. Uh, I thought y'all were gonna say, can you make more? And <laughs> she have other business dealings and this, that, and the third, but it is what it is. It was a close race, uh, for that information, like 10 points off. Uh, but going back to the next and last final polling question. Uh, it was asked, do you think Dr. Jackie from Married to Medicine reality show was wrong for telling her co-star Buffy Purcell's business to the public about her infertility issues? 95% of y'all said yes, she was dead wrong, while 5% of you all said I didn't see anything wrong with what Jackie had spilled out on um, 
Buffy Purcell's personal information, medical information. All right, guys, that was all the polling uh, results we had for the week of what was that week of? For the week of November 3rd through November 9th, we are going to be putting up the next week's polling questions. Get over there. Tell me what y'all thought about uh, the polls and, and how y'all felt when y'all reacted to the questions. And definitely go on in there and, and, and vote and, and tell me why you voted the way you voted if you care to. Or not just go on and vote uh, of the list of questions that are asked for that particular subject. And again, thank you for coming to my channel, subscribing to my channel, and sharing my videos, all right? But I'll see you next time for the next pollings for November, what is that, 10th through the 16th. All right, y'all be blessed. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.